Hainam and Higher, Chapter 8 in the Quadratic Functions, Exercise 8K, the mixed questions at the end. Number 5, Solving Quadratic Inequations. Right, well the steps are essentially the same as solving an equation. Factorise it. So taking this one first of all. I'm hoping it factorises rather than having to use the formula. But if I'd used the formula, I'd use the formula. So it must be x, x, it must be 2, 3. The negative goes to the larger, that says they're opposite. But what I don't do now is to try and form two separate inequations, like x plus 2 is less than 0 and x minus 3 is less than 0. What you'd have to do instead is consider the product of the signs here by thinking of what the graph would have looked like. So the graph would have been this. It would have cut at negative 2 and it would have cut at 3. And for the equation that actually, any equation I actually used had a positive x squared term, so it would have looked like this. And then consider the portion of the graph, because that's a picture of the answers now that you get from this product. Well, I don't want it to include zero, so I'll just put a hollow circle there. What I'm doing is I'm taking the x-axis as a number line and indicating the solution set on the number line as an interval. So this says if you want your answers to be less than zero, you're looking at the portion which is between the numbers, but not including them. That's what the hollow circle was for. So the final part would simply be this, which means that x would have to be less than 3, but not including it, or greater than negative 2, but again, not including it. Same steps. Factorise it. Factorise it to get the zeros, or to get the roots rather, but don't just try and form separate inequations. Consider the graph, the picture of the answer you get from this product to get the interval in the solution. And then part B. Well, same with part B. Not ready to go yet. 2x squared, bring it over, plus 7x minus 15 is less than or equal to 0. Another factorisation, hopefully. But if I didn't factorise, I would just use the formula to get these two roots and then consider which way around the graph is for the one I'm solving and then read either the part above or below. But this will work. That's 2x times x and it's going to be 3 and 5. So I'll have to put the 3 here and the 5 there. And then I've got opposite signs. So the plus will go to the larger, which is that, and the minus will go there. Then, sketch of it here. You could put the y-axis in, it's not going to make a great deal of difference. You just want to see when it's above and when it's below the x. So just considering the number line x, this says then at 3 up and 2, there's a 0. And at negative 5, there's a 0. And it's a positive x squared that you were considering, so it must look like this. You were including the zeros, so those points are included on the x's. But you wanted the portions that gave answers which were less than zero. So I want the interval, again, that's between them, but including them. So the solution set would be this then. It's x has to be less than or equal to 3 up in 2, but greater than or equal to negative 5. That's question 5.